Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my homemade white cake with pineapple preserve filling. Now, this cake is great for any kind of special occasion, whether if it's a party, holiday, or even get-togethers. It's basically a celebration cake, okay? Now, all this is is a white cake with pineapple preserve filling. You can also use other fillings like strawberry, etc. Okay? Um, this cake calls for about eight to ten slices possibly more depending on how you slice it and it is delicious so without further ado let's get started all right here's all what you'll need to make your white cake with pineapple preserve filling let's get started you need some all-purpose flour salt sugar baking powder unsalted butter slightly softening at room temperature large eggs at room temperature Heavy whipping cream at room temperature. And for our filling, you're gonna need some crushed pineapple. All right, y'all, I bought the wrong ingredient over here as this is a, a different color syrup. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using the light corn syrup. And for our flavorings, you'll need some uh, vanilla extract, butter extract, almond extract, and you'll also need some uh, confectioner sugar. To bake your cake, you're gonna need two nine inch round cake pans, some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray, and a disposable piping bag with the uh, tip cut off. And that's it. All right, let's get to baking. So in this uh, medium sized bowl, I have a little mesh strainer in there. We're gonna add two and one half cups of all purpose flour. Now you can use cake flour, but it produces a dry crumb, so beware. All right, and to that, we're gonna add one and one half teaspoons of baking powder and one eighth teaspoon of salt. There we go. Now we're just going to uh, sift the ingredients into the medium sized bowl. There we go. Now we're just going to take our spoon and we're just going to give this a quick stir. Alright, now we're going to set this on the side and bring in our bowl for our wet ingredients. Alright, now for our wet ingredients, you're going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream at room temperature. And to that, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of butter extract, and one teaspoon of almond extract. Now, if you're, if you're a super taster and you can really taste the flavor in uh, the cakes, you can reduce it and add one fourth teaspoon of almond extract if you like, okay? And also keep in mind, you can add flavorings to taste. If you think it's too much, you could add less. If it's too little, you could add more, okay? Now, I'm gonna just take my whisk and I'm just going to uh, give this a quick stir. And this cream mixture is going to make our cake nice and moist. This is all you need right here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to separate six large eggs at room temperature. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take our egg whites and we're going to place them into one bowl. And from there we're going to take our egg yolks and place that into a separate bowl. All right, now we're going to set the egg whites on the side because we're going to add that into the cake. Now for our egg yolks, um, there are several things that you can do with this. You can take this and make a custard for banana pudding. And you can also take it and make some uh, custard-based ice cream. And I have recipes for uh, all of those. I have several ice cream recipes. Um, just search ice cream or banana pudding, Charlie Andrews, on YouTube, and you'll be all set, okay? All right, now let's get started with our cake batter. In a sand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, we're going to add two and one half sticks of unsalted butter, softened and at room temperature. Now you can use salted butter, but you'll just have to omit the salt from the recipe, okay? And to that, we're going to add two and one fourth cups of sugar. Now we're going to start our mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Then afterwards, we're going to turn our mixer up to the highest setting and we're going to mix it on high speed for about five minutes. Now at some point you want to make sure that you stop your mixer 
and just scrape down the sides of your bowl. Alright, now we're going to scrape down the sides of our bowl. Now we're going to add our egg whites at room temperature in here three separate times while mixing on a medium speed. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the mixer up to the highest setting and we're gonna mix it on high speed for about 10 seconds. Now that was to ensure that the, uh, that the egg whites are nice and mixed in there. And as you can see here, as you can see here, the mixture has it's nice and puffy and it has lots of volume. It's exactly what we're looking for, okay? Now we're going to add the all-purpose flour and the heavy whipping cream mixture into the batter three separate times while mixing on a medium-low speed. Now, there aren't no measurements or anything like that. We're just going to add it in there three separate times. Okay. The all purpose flour and the heavy whipping cream mixture. Now, remember, we're not measuring it anything, we're just adding it in there. All right, let's get down the sides of the bowl. All right, all purpose flour, a little bit of the cream mixture. Mm -hmm. Down the sides of the bowl. Now I'm gonna add the last little bit amount of the all purpose flour mixture and the heavy whipping cream mixture. It's the last amount, y'all. Last amount. Sides of my bowl. Now we're going to mix this on high speed for about 20 seconds, and this will ensure that everything is mixed in, and it's also going to uh, activate those egg whites. And we're done. Our white cake batter is now ready. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now at this time, you're going to go ahead and spray both of your um, baking pans with Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. I didn't really spray it on camera because that stuff flies all over. So make sure you spray enough at the bottom, just a light coating on the sides. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Now we're going to take our cake batter and we're just going to add it into each baking pan as evenly as possible. Now I'm going to just take my spoon and I'm just going to spread the batter around the baking pans as evenly as possible. Now to make the batter more even, we're just going to shake the pans. Also give them a tap. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and place these into the oven. Now white cake, I'm speaking for myself, white cake tends to bake pretty fast. So I'm placing it on the middle rack. And of course I have the low temperature of 325. And of course the dull coated, I'm using dull coated pans, so that works with that as well. 
And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bake this until it's done. I'm gonna let y'all know the baking time once it's um, finished. All right, our cakes are done. Let's go ahead and remove these out of the oven. All right, here we have our cake layers. Uh, we're just taking them out of the oven and we bake this for about 40 minutes. All right, now toothpick inserted into each cake layer. Should come out clean. Now you're gonna let these cakes cool completely. Um, it really is no estimated time. I would say about three hours, but just wait till they cool completely. It could take however long. All right, now let's get started with making our pineapple preserves. So, in this small pot, we're gonna add one cup of the uh, light corn syrup. All right, and to that, we're gonna add one cup of sugar and the crushed pineapple. Now we're just gonna give this a quick stir. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to let this cook down and then from there I'll give you all the cooking time once we're finished. Alright y'all, I let this cook for about 30 minutes and this is how it looks when we're done. And as you can see this mixture is thick already, it's pretty thick, exactly what we're looking for. Now for some quick tips here, um, this mixture will thicken as it cools, so you want to pay attention to that, okay? Now it's already thickened, so when it gets cooler, when it cools off, it'll be even more thick. So this is exactly what we're looking for right here. Now even though mine took 30 minutes, um, you just want to eyeball it and pay attention to when it thickens exactly like this. Because remember, it can take more or less time depending on your stove and the pot and pan set that you're using. So you want to keep all that in mind when making this, okay? All right, we transferred our um, pineapple preserves into this uh, plastic container here. And this is how it looks when we're done. I let it cool off, let it cool completely, and this is how it looks. Homemade pineapple jam. Yummy. <laughs> All right, here we have our two cake layers baked and ready to go. Now as for my cake layers, they bake pretty even, so uh, I don't really have the dome on top. But the issue that I do have is on the corners, on the edge right here, it's just a little crust on the edge. And I'm gonna just take my little knife and I'm gonna just trim that off. All right, now I wanna let you know if your cake has the little dome on top, just take your little knife and just trim it off and that's it now make a more level cake okay so that way your cake won't look lopsided once you uh, add the frosting and stuff on it all right now let's get started with our uh, buttercream frosting so in our stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment we're going to add two and one half sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature butter should be um, softened slightly but still kind of firm okay just add that in there and here I have about uh, three cups of confection sugar we're gonna add this in here into two separate intervals okay so we're gonna add half of it in first this is the first amount just add a little bit in there Add a little bit more all right now I'm gonna start my mixer on a medium low speed just to get the butter in confectioner sugar incorporated then I'm gonna turn it up to the highest speed and I'm just gonna mix it until combined it should take no more than one minute all right now we're gonna add the second half 
of confection sugar right on in there. And to that, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of butter extract, and one fourth teaspoon of almond extract. Now, if you're one of those super tasters where you could really, really taste the flavor, then you could reduce it down to one eighth teaspoon of almond extract. And you could also decrease the amounts of the other extracts if, as well, if you like, okay? Now again, I'm gonna go ahead and start my mixer on a medium low speed just to get the butter, sugar, and the extracts incorporated. Then I'm gonna turn my mixer up to the high setting and I'm gonna mix it for about one to two minutes. Alright, and we are done. Our buttercream frosting is now ready. Now for some quick tips, if you want to reduce the sweetness to it, you can uh, reduce the confectioner sugar. You could just cut it down by a half a cup. But other than that, it's, that's about it. Now if it turns out runny at all, you could always place it in your refrigerator um, for about uh, 20 minutes. Then then once it's done, return it back to your mixer and mix it together and uh, it should come back together. And that's it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take some of our icing, our frosting, we're just gonna place that into this disposable piping bag. Now don't put it all in there, just put a little bit. And once you um, pipe the frosting out onto the cake, if you have any leftover in, in the piping bag, you could just place it back into the um, the bowl with the frosting in it and you'll be all set. Alright, because we're only piping this onto the uh, the edge of the cake, okay? And make sure that uh, the tip of your piping bag is cut off, alright? Alright y'all, here we have our cake layer. I flipped it over. Here we have our piping bag with the tip cut off, alright? And what we're going to do now is we're just going to pipe this on the edge of the uh, cake layer. Now the reason why we're doing this is because when we add the um, when we add the pineapple filling in here, this border is going to make sure that the pineapple filling doesn't spill outside of the cake. All right, so it's kind of like a little kind of like a wall. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add our homemade pineapple preserves right in on top. Let's put that in here. Add as much as you like, but don't add too much. Let's take our spoon and just spread that out. Okay, might get a little bit more. Oh, that looks good. All right. Oh, yes, yes, that looks good, don't it? <laughs> looking good, looking good. All right, now we're going to add the second layer right on top. And just press it down slightly. Make sure that that's good. All right, we got our little spatula right here, offset spatula. And we're just going to take a small amount of our frosting and we're just going to add it onto the top of the cake. And just spread that around like that. And we're going to take a small amount right here and we're just going to place that onto the sides of the cake as well. And this is known as the crumb coat. And what that does is that that makes sure that prevents the cake crumbs from appearing on the final coating of cake. So this is an important step here. I want to make sure that the icing is all around the cake on the top and the bottom. None of the cake is exposed. All right, so now I have 
the crumb coat on the cake. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place this cake into my refrigerator. Sometimes I place it in my freezer too for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our frosting on top of our cake. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our spatula and we're just gonna spread that frosting on top of the cake. Now as the um, frosting reaches the edge right here, it's gonna free fall to the sides. And what you could do is you could just take that frosting and spread it onto the sides of the cake as well. Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna just take my spatula and I'm just gonna do a little design on the side. I'm not smoothing it out or anything. I'm just playing around with it. And I'm gonna just take my spatula and I'm gonna just do the same thing for the top as well. I'm not really doing anything special. All right, that looks good. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> Did the best I could here. This is how it looks. I just played around with the spatula and did a little crazy decoration. <laughs> but now that the cake is decorated, um, one last final thing, you don't have to decorate it like this. You could always take your spatula, um, heat it up on the stove a little bit, preheat your fire to uh, medium high heat, put the spatula over it, just to heat it until it's warm and you could just take it and smoothen out the top and the sides of the cake, okay? If you want a more smooth um, pattern on your cake. But for me, this is just all over, okay? Now, I'm gonna let this cake sit basically for about mm, 30 minutes to an hour before serving so that way everything will be good and, you know. But you can serve it right away, it don't really matter. All right, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite of this right here. Look at that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all, I tell y'all no lie. The cake is nice, it's moist, and you can taste the flavor of the pineapple preserves along with that icing. And the cake is not too sweet. It's just the right amount of sweetness. And the, the, um, the sweetness of the pineapple preserves and the icing just brings out everything else. It's really, really balanced in terms of sweetness. It's really good, on point. So, Give the recipe a try. Oh, oh and wait, wait, remember those egg yolks that um, that I um, reserved early in the recipe? Well, I took that and I made some homemade ice cream. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so not only do I have cake, but I have ice cream to go with it too. Yep. Hey y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, if you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Um, I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this recipe right here. Uh, go to www.charliecookandrews.com. I'm also on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. So until next time, take care and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.